Well, hi, this is Ray Mosholder, of course, and I'm a rare duck. I guess you figured that out by all the programs that I've done, and if you see me on this or that or the other, they're all different. But uh, this one is from a magazine. I do not, and I'm, I said I'm a rare duck, I don't like most magazines. And the reason is I don't want to spend all the time reading it, plus the fact that most of them are plushy and um, and not done well as far as research. Even news magazines can be very weak in that regard, even biased. Many are biased, both television and the uh, magazines. And the newspaper is certainly the most biased. Now, Raymond Demadian, you ever hear that name? Acts and Facts. You ever hear that name? Because if you have it, i got a real treat for you. This magazine is free every month. And it uh, comes from the Institute of Creation Research. And if you... you see, it, 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 the things that I'm teaching, I'm not a scientist or a biologist. Um, I, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Uh, uh, lots of things. And uh, maybe when you hear me, I think, well, all of that is good in theory, but uh, but what about carbon dating? What about uh, all the facts about the world being evolutionized and the, all the rest of that? Well, Acts and Facts is the finest magazine I've ever seen to handle any of those kind of subjects, but many more besides, like this one that I'm going to share with you now. I just couldn't get enough of it. I mean, it. You know, when when I read a magazine kipper to kipper, you know that uh, it has to be something great in my mind. And this one really is. Again, it'll answer the questions of biology, science, um, all of the different theories. Um, it, it, it'll astound your college professor. <laughs> Anyway, let's go to it. It's a free magazine. Now, all you do to get this free magazine is to write for it. And um, here's the address if you want to write this down. Institute for Creation Research. Institute for Creation Research. Post Office Box. I'll say this three times so that you get it. Post Office Box. Five nine zero oh, two nine. That's post office box five nine zero oh, two nine. Five nine zero oh, two nine. Uh, it's Dallas, Texas. Uh, Yahoo! Uh, I'm from Fort Worth. Se seven five. Two two nine, Dallas, Texas seven five two two nine, Dallas, Texas. Do you think I stutter? If you do, please know I'm not making fun of you. It, it must be so hard, but I don't. Dallas, Texas seven five two two nine, and the telephone number is two one four. 815-8300-214-615-8300-214-615-83. Uh oh And uh, so you can get this uh, free magazine. Never pay a penny. You don't have to. If you want to send in and help their ministry, you can, but it's because uh, it is such a supercalifragilistic ministry. But let's talk about a supercalifragilistic man. Here's Raymond Demadian. Ever hear of him? No? Well, he was the inventor of the MRI. Good looking dude, wasn't he? Right? Now, let's look at his story. Dr. Raymond Demadian 
is the, quote, father of the MRI. Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI is widely recognized as, quote, one of the great medical breakthroughs of the 20th century, end quote, and has saved and enhanced countless lives. While studying violin at the world-famous Juilliard School of Music, the Median competed with nearly 100,000, think of this, 100,000 applicants and won a Ford Foundation scholarship. He was only 15 years old. This enabled him to complete a mathematics degree at the University of Wisconsin, and he then earned his medical degree at Albert Einstein College of medicine and later did graduate work in biophysics at Harvard. <laughs> you think he might have been smart? The medium then became a professor at the State University of New York Downstate Medical Center where he taught until he founded a company to manufacture MRI scanners. He also published widely in peer-reviewed scientific literature, including a highly cited cover article on MRI in the leading journal Science, the Science, the journal. MRI, the premier medical diagnostic imaging method in use today, 21st century, uh, is a 10 plus billion dollar per year industry. MRIs are able to detect diseased tissue or injury more accurately, safely, and efficiently than any other medical imaging technique. Now, over a billion MRI scans have been completed since its invention with over 60 million additional scans each year. Demedian first got the idea while using nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, to scan salt-loving bacteria called halophiles that contain 20 times greater potassium levels than most bacteria. The results were so promising that Demedian realized the technique could be used to diagnose cancer and other diseases in humans. Now, from that time forward, he spent most of his career developing the MRI medical body scanner to achieve the goal. In 1970, he documented a major difference in MR signals between cancer and normal tissue as well as major differences among normal tissue types, a critical discovery that made MRI scans possible. As early as 1973, articles appeared in popular magazines about his achievements. His wife, Donna, wrote that Demidian had, quote, great faith in the Lord, and that with his help, he'd be able to achieve the goal of developing MRI technology to help diagnose disease. And in his struggle to develop MRI, she added that the, quote, Lord always seemed to look after him. After much work, he achieved his goal of developing a functional MRI and soon after began manufacturing these extraordinary machines. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan awarded the National Medal of Technology jointly to Dr. Demedian and Dr. Paul Lauterbur uh, for their contributions to the development of MRI. In 1989, Demedian was inducted into the National Inventors 
Hall of Fame. Joining other distinguished men, including Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, Samuel F. B. Morse, and the Wright brothers. The first MRI scanner ever built. Domadian's own machine called, quote, Indomitable, was placed in the Smithsonian Institution the same year. In March 2004, he was awarded the Franklin Institute Medal, quote, for his development and commercialization of magnetic resonance imaging, which has transformed the diagnosis and treatment of disease, end quote. Demadian became a born-again Christian in 1957 at a Billy Graham crusade in Madison Square Garden. Extensive reading and study on science and theology put his Christian faith on firm footing, especially on the creation-evolution question. He also became keenly aware of the fallacy of Darwinism. Since then, Dominion has been very active in supporting creationism, he writes that he now understands, quote, what the Apostle Paul calls the renewed mind. Out of a mind renewed by Jesus came the obvious. How could a scientist achieve his goal of discovering the absolute truths that govern the natural world without the blessing of the author of these truths? For me now, the true thrill of science is the search to understand a small corner of God's grand design and to lay the glory for such discoveries at the grand designer's feet. A problem the Median soon encountered was the aggressively secular environment of academics and science. That's a quote from him noting that he faced the fact that a scientist looks, quote, at the experiments he's performing under conditions he himself is manipulating and jumps to the conclusion that he thinks he understands how creation took place and God wasn't necessary. And this becomes the root of atheism. And he got hold of me. Dr. Demadian added that he read the Bible from cover to cover, observing that, quote, For the scientific mind, the Bible is wonderful if you read it from start to finish. It fits together with astonishing consistency, which was the opposite of my secular perception. My early impressions were that it was rife with contradictions. The impression was demolished by his study of the issue of biblical credibility on the creation issue. One problem Dominion was concerned with was, quote, some theologians and preachers qualified certain statements in the Bible, making their accommodations with the scientific world saying most of the claims for creation and for miracles have alternate explanations. If the Bible has to be qualified at every verse, then it isn't long before you drift away from its authority. End quote. Demadian's deeply held religious beliefs, specifically his conclusions on origins, are detailed in his new book. It's called gifted mind. As an active creationist, he has served on the boards of several creation organizations, including the Institute for Creation Research and the Answers in Genesis Creation Museum. Dr. Demadian is one of the many scientists who have realized science does not lead to Darwinism. Science leads us 
to the feet of the grand designer. I hope you enjoyed that. I I just was overwhelmed when I read it. And it, there's there he is again. <laughs> and there's that free magazine again. Now again, you can get this, and it is so biblical, and you will love that. Um, Institute for Creation Research, Post Office Box 59029, Dallas, Texas, 75229. Phone number 214-615-8300. And if you contact them, let them know that, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd let them know that you heard about the magazine from reachmorenow.com. And that I highly, I, I don't think I could more highly recommend X and Facts.